Well, the craft fair at the Northern Lights Casino in Walker has become the place to be for artists who want to show off their work. Reporter Sherelle Moore has a look at the event for this week's In Focus. Twice a month in Walker, crafters will set up shop right here at the Northern Lights Casino. This craft show here at Northern Lights I've done uh, twice a month now for almost three years. There's so much going on and there's so many fantastic vendors here. And there's different things every single sale. Every single item is handmade and each crafter has a different niche. Dream catchers, I go out and harvest the willow in the winter when, you know, the trees are sleeping and then you scrape the, the bark off them and then uh, I do a little quill work in the middle, each one has a crystal, um, and then you get the feathers from chickens. We come up with new and different ideas, so one of the examples is we take and we make roses out of Tootsie Rolls and caramels. I designed my own cut, it's got 145 facets, and I've been faceting gemstones now as a hobby for 40 years. A lot of the crafters do their works as a hobby developing their skills over time. And no matter which day you go, you're almost guaranteed to find something new. My husband and I do wood crafts. He cuts things out with a scroll saw. And if they're painted, I probably painted them. I started making jewelry a couple years ago. My stuff is all one of a kind. I never make two of the same thing. I just do cribbage boards on the side just for something to do. They're all handmade. Um, each one's different wood. Um, takes about five hours to do one. This is a good venue for us. It's a nice location. It's indoors. No worry about the weather or rain or any of that kind of stuff that you get in the summertime. This works out really well. The crafters say the fair is also the best place to meet people who share a common interest. When you retire, you can't just walk away from that. you got to stay in, in connection with people somehow. And this hobby has done that for both my wife and I. It's like a close-knit family that has all adopted one another. So you'll have a friendly atmosphere, and the vendors are willing to bargain with you. Reporting in Walker with this week's In Focus, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. And the craft fairs are usually held on Wednesdays. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.